Magical Night. I'm Miss Conchetta Mattioni. If you would like to get in touch with me, my contact information is as follows. My email is c-m-a-t-t-i-o-n-i at rtmsd.org and my phone number is 610-627-6236. The easiest way to get a hold of me is through email because I can answer at any time, uh, but you are still more than welcome to call. I do respond within 24 hours and uh, if I do not pick up my phone, uh, please be sure to leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I am able. So a little about me. Uh, this is the start of my 29th year at Pencrest High School. I received my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Studio Art from Kutztown University and my Master of Arts in Teaching in Visual Arts Education from Rhode Island School of Design. I am one of three art teachers and also the Art Department Coordinator at Pencrest. In addition to my teaching experience, I create personal artwork and, most, uh, and work mostly in charcoal and watercolor. I draw and paint portraits, animals, and flowers. Three of my works hang in the Pencrest Library the Pencrest Lion, the portrait of Dr. Joseph Haviland, and the portrait of Rick Gregg, and the portrait of my dear friend Mel hangs in the D, in the D wing. Be sure that, to check them out. My family, I have a daughter named Sarah, who is a senior in high school, and a stepdaughter named Emily, who lives in Washington, DC. Sarah and I live with our cat, Pepper, who we adopted from a friend of a friend. We love taking road trips and traveling with our family. The courses I teach at Pencrest are as follows, drawing, painting, R2, R3, and portfolio preparation. So painting, if you are interested in checking out the painting syllabus, it can be found in the course information folder in Schoology. This semester course introduces students to the basics of painting and color theory through references to observational design and imaginary approaches. A range of painting techniques, methods, and materials will be explored. We will be using tempera, acrylic, and watercolor paints. Here are a few examples from years past. Um, the Painting on the left is a symmetrical painting, and this was uh, completed in uh, acrylic paints. And the one on the right is an underwater scene that was painted using liquid watercolors and traditional watercolor paints. So this year, art supplies, materials, and tools. Um, everything students need to complete the required coursework will be supplied. Art bins are available for students who need to bring supplies, materials, tools home to complete homework or work owed. In painting, there is no homework assigned. The only time work needs to be done at home is if a student is getting behind. Uh, students are responsible for taking care of all supplies, materials, tools used, and students are welcome to purchase their own supplies. However, this is not required. Um, if a student is interested in uh, choosing some of their own supplies to have at home, uh, the art department, all three of us, uh, we are available to assist students in choosing uh, what to purchase if they choose to do so. But again, it is not necessary. So a um, couple things we put out as a request. Uh, we are always looking for objects for still lifes. So medium and larger objects, metal and glass objects, anything that's sort of reflective, um, objects that are sturdy in good condition, and then objects that have interesting parts, such as clocks or old tools, um, anything you think might be interesting for an art student to draw, we'll be happy to take off your hands. We can also use magazines and fabric scraps for, uh, for collage, um, old sheets and tablecloths for still life backdrops, uh, latex primer. Uh, my seniors paint on four feet by four feet boards and we need to prime them. Uh, medium and large plastic containers for water containers. Uh, yogurt, the larger yogurt containers are perfect. Uh, beads and jewelry findings. Newspapers to cover the tables and also for use with paper mache in uh, the mixed media course. And then hair dryers to dry paint. It just makes it dry a little faster so that uh, students can either add another layer or move to another part um, because they're waiting for paint to dry. And that is it for painting. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out via email or by phone, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for attending this year's virtual back to school night.